Hello everyone and welcome back to Painting with Martin. Today we're here with a new Essence Spiel game called Inferno, published by Red Mojo Games. And I was lucky enough to pick this one up at Essence Spiel, they're not sponsoring this video. However, they do actually have a miniature pack and I'm going to show you this on this video. Now Inferno is a game for one to four players, it takes about two hours, a little bit longer perhaps. If you know the game, maybe a little bit shorter, in which you will actually guide souls through hell and make sure they end up in the right place in Dante's Inferno. Inferno from Dante Alighieri, if you're familiar with the works, medieval art, medieval book and art and so on. So in this worker placement game, it's quite unique for the feel. It has beautiful artwork. I'm going to have a look and, and tell you um, a little bit about what I think about the miniatures because they are standees in the regular game. This is the miniature pack looks like this. It's a six miniature box set and I'm going to show you how to uh, 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 opening it up. So I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit more so you can actually see the this one instead. And this is what it looks like. So I'll open this one up quite carefully. Taking the plastics off. And as you can see in the back side here looks really beautiful. And let's see if the artwork on the back actually holds up to the miniatures inside. And let's see how you open this one up. Oh, it's just fairly easy. Oh, it looks quite nice. Nice insert for, to begin with. Um, kudos to them. Um, let's see if there's anything under the insert. No, there's nothing under the insert. Let's see if there. It's quite convenient. And let's see if we can get this one opened. Ah, oh, there you go. So we've got six uh, monsters or miniatures. I'm going to have a look at in each of every one of them. And I don't really know who these are in terms of hell. Maybe this is some kind of king of hell. Don't really know. Good quality plastics uh, or resin in that case. Uh, let's have a look at this one. This one appears to be some kind of a Medusa. Can't wait to get to actually paint these. Uh, it's going to be really nice. And this actually miniature pack I actually got for them for free when I bought the game. So thank you very much because I'm a miniature painter and I told them I would love to paint the miniature. This looks like some kind of minotaur or maybe Satan himself or something like that. Beautiful axe, nice flying mace. And you've got the Cerberus dog here, or Kerberos, however you want to call it. Three-headed dog, really vicious with a devil spike tail up here. And then, of course, you've got some kind of giant or some some sort uh, with some skulls or chains around him. Quite nice. And then finally, we also got some kind of like winged demon. Really beautiful, nice looking ones. Amazing details here. I saw the miniatures on Essence Beal. I didn't think they would be this detailed. Maybe it was a prototype I saw. Perhaps not. But they're really nice and they're definitely better than these standees looking uh, from the game. Um, there is plenty of artwork in the game. And if you have played this game, please let me know what you think about it. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. I haven't been able to play this game so far. I came back about two weeks ago and it's been quite busy preparing for all the videos I'm going to film and all the painting. I've also had a few painting workshops, so I've been fairly busy. But uh, there's a new video out today for from for a gateway game called Gateway Island from Van Dryder Games. And um, uh, I and that's already up on the channel. There's an unboxing. And there will be more unboxings as well. And I will also do some reviews of games that I really like. It doesn't have to be miniatures, but games that I really find interesting as well. That's the upcoming plans for this um this uh, channel in the meantime. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you once again, it really helps me grow. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please consider to do so, give it a nice thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and have fun on the table playing games.